Hey Norwegian Cruise fans and welcome to my channel Cruise with Grant where we talk about all things Norwegian Cruise Lines. Today's video is going to focus on some game changers that NCL is making to beverages on board, including the ultimate beverage package, how you enjoy onboard Starbucks, and also the soda package. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start off by talking about changes to Norwegian's ultimate beverage package. And many people will have the beverage package because it's often included in NCL's free at sea promotions. Now, if you're wanting to learn a little bit more about how free at sea works, please don't forget to check out the video that I made on free at sea demystified the ultimate beverage package. I'll put a link in the description below. Now NCL is introducing two big changes to the ultimate beverage package. And the first one is about if you're bringing on board any wine or champagne that you may have purchased while you're in port or purchased in advance of your cruise. Now for most cruisers, if they don't have the beverage package, they're gonna have to pay between 15 and $20 US as a corkage fee to enjoy that wine on board. But if you've got the ultimate beverage package, you now no longer have to pay a fee and you can enjoy it without paying any corkage. The NCL website is very clear that wine and champagne are the two forms of alcohol that they do allow guests to bring on board. So if you're looking to bring hard liquor, tequila, or other souvenirs back from your holiday, you may want to think twice to make sure that they're not taken away from you when you're trying to board. The second change that NCL is introducing is related to bottled water. And I receive lots of questions about whether bottled water is included in the beverage package. And it hasn't been up until this point. But NCL is changing this starting on January 1st, 2023. Anyone who has the ultimate beverage package is going to start receiving six one liter cartons of water delivered to their stateroom at the beginning of the cruise. So you're not getting unlimited cartons of water, but you are getting six one liters that are automatically gonna be provided to you at the start of your cruise. Now, one final bit of bad news related to the Ultimate Beverage Package is that along with these changes, the price of the Ultimate Beverage Package is also increasing starting on January 1st, 2023. So currently the Ultimate Beverage Package costs $99 USD per day, and that will be increasing to $109 USD per day. The next change that NCL has introduced is related to how you can enjoy Starbucks on board. Now for quite some time, many NCL ships have had a Starbucks that are full service allowing you to enjoy frappuccinos, espressos, and any other Starbucks beverages that you like. Now, if you're going to enjoy Starbucks multiple times a day on your cruise, you may want to check out the new all-inclusive Starbucks drinks package that Norwegian has introduced. This allows you to have unlimited Starbucks, all for $12.95 USD per day. Now you will want to keep in mind that like all of the other drinks packages on board Norwegian, you will have to pay a 20% gratuity at the checkout if you purchase the Starbucks package. All right, let's talk about the last and perhaps the biggest change that Norwegian has made in a really long time to their onboard beverage offering. And you may have seen a little sneak peek of this if you were watching the inauguration of NCL's newest ship, the Prima. They snuck in a very small suggestion that NCL is actually making a big change, changing all of their onboard soft drink offerings from Pepsi to Coke. And it seems like right now it's being introduced in phases, starting with some of the newer ships like the NCL Prima, but I've already started to see posts cropping up online that other Norwegian ships are now shifting over to Coke products. And that includes Coke products that are available in the normal ways through the bars and restaurants, but also it seems like they're going to be starting to offer some types of self-service machines uh, as well for people who have purchased the drinks packages uh, um, to be able to get coke on their own so this is a big change and one that i have to say is very welcome from my perspective which of the changes to ncl's onboard beverage offerings are you most excited about and is there anything else that you'd like to see let me know in the comments below
If you're looking for other information about the NCL Free Etsy promotions, don't forget to check out my series called Free Etsy Demystified that tells you all the ins and outs of how Free Etsy works. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help me out. Thanks very much for tuning in. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!